Alrighty guys, what is going up? Welcome back to the Best Investing Money Management channel on YouTube. Now, for those of you that don't know, I am a huge, huge SoFi, SoFi bull. I am a huge investor in this company. It's one of my favorite out there. We're going to be breaking down why this stock is absolutely exploding up and giving my price target and some good investment strategies behind it. So I hope you guys enjoy it. And overall, I hope you guys get something of value out of this video. And if you do hit that like button and subscribe, because at the end of the day, it really, really helps me out. So what is SoFi? It's ticker symbol S-O-F-I. This company is a fintech company. It's a competitor with a variety of other uh, brokers and financial services. It's, you know, it's pretty much like the all-in-one financial app, okay? You can buy and sell stock, uh, crypto. They have a credit debit card. They, they have student loans. You can refinance. You can get a variety of awesome financial tools. And the beauty of it is it's very user-friendly and it's, it's, pretty good, right? The software is actually really, really awesome. There's really no major um, downsides to it. Okay. Lately, this stock has been absolutely exploding up. It's up 13% today and analysts think it can go way higher. All right. So we're going to be breaking it down. So starting with the one year chart. Okay. The one year chart, this is just the overall, you know, stock uh, for the past year. And you guys can see it has lows here at $10 a share. And then it had pretty much this day where it went up about 70% and fell back down about $19. Huge growth and rallied its way up to about $28 a share before selling off and finding some very, very hard, the hardest support on the chart at this $14.50 to about $13. So right in this zone, every time this stock hit it, we had beautiful buying pressure, okay? So it came in contact. This long wick right in here represents buying pressure. So uh, came back up, found some resistance near $20, sold back off, down about 15, buying pressure, sold back off, down about 14, and pretty much just consolidated and had this huge spike, had and pretty much found some very hard resistance at 25, sold off back down to the major support down in here, and really just consolidated, didn't do much. I bought this stock right here at about 1440, 1450, right in that zone. Um, the reason why is just because of the very hard support. Every time it hit it, we got buying pressure. So I understood, okay, this company carries a lot of long-term potential. Instead of buying up here, maybe we could either one, do dollar cost averaging, or two, we could just wait for a major sell-off. And luckily, I got in at a good price. That was pure luck. A good strategy for this, probably the best one, would be doing that dollar cost averaging. So what you do, so instead of trying to time the stock, you just invest into weekly or monthly increments. So what that does is, if the stock continues to rally up, you still make money because the stock value is going up. But the beauty of it is when it falls down, all you do is you're just averaging your price lower and lower and lower. So once it recovers, you're going to make a lot more money. So it's a fantastic strategy for growth stocks, ETFs. It's probably my favorite because you don't have to worry about buying it overvalued or undervalued. You just be consistent. And that's the biggest thing is just being consistent. Okay. So today we had this major spike. Okay. Went up uh, from 16 all the way to $18 a share. That was a 13.4% increase. So what in the world happened? Why did SoFi absolutely explode during you know today's trading session? You guys can see just pure, pure powerhouse, right? It just took off. And analysts, okay, the reason why is because we had a variety of analysts saying that this is a major buy in the pretty much price target for this thing is $25 a share. $25 a share is the price target. So imagine a stock that's $16. There's a 54, 55% upside. Why would you not buy it? Especially with the caliber of Sophie with revenues over 150% and growing year over year. Very strong cash flow, very strong uh, users. And people are just, just buying this stock up like crazy. So um, that's pretty much why we had this uh, had this major major spike up. Not to mention, they see a lot of these analysts think that um, 
the student loan refinancing because they have extremely low student loan refinancing is going to be one of the biggest uh, cash flows for this business. And that's really what SoFi's main objective is, is to make those payments affordable. And so that that's where th- these analysts think that that's going to be their bread and butter. Um, so yeah, so my price target here, ideally, I would love for this thing to come back up to some highs here at 28, but it does have some hard resistance at 24. So realistically, right in, the, right in this zone from 24 to 23, 728 that's going to be my price target it's very similar to uh you know morgan stanley and all of those i just think that we're, we'll get a huge buying pressure here within the next couple of weeks next couple of months and this is definitely one that's going to be more volatile right so using that dollar cost average to your advantage is going to be really really beneficial but you know this is going to be one that yes is vol- volatile but two, it's going to be carrying so much reward if you guys are just consistent with your investments. You're going to easily double 10x your account over the next couple of years. And I'm just really excited to see you know what happens with it. So let me know down in the comments if you guys bought SoFi or you plan on buying it and what price uh, you're buying it at. So I hope you guys enjoyed the episode. I hope you guys got something of value. Um, that's the main idea. And if you do, it really, you know, smash the like button. It really helps me out, guys. So guys, that is it. Remember to stay happy, stay positive, and stay safe. Take care of them.